today because we've nearly got to the end of our journey through the letter of James. We're not quite there yet, but looking back at all we've learned, it seems like a Christian's words are really important. See how many kid spots you remember as we read seven things that James wrote about our words. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak. You say, hi, come in. I'm really glad you came. But you say to the poor person, hmm, could you just stand over there by the back door? Keep a tight rein on your tongue. If you can control your tongue, you are mature and able to control your whole body. Our tongues are small too, and yet they brag about big things. It takes only a spark to start a forest fire. The tongue is like a spark. My friends, don't say cruel things about others. But now you are proud and you brag. All of this bragging is wrong. There were seven important things about what we say. And today, James writes another. Above all, don't make a promise by giving your word. Don't promise by heaven or earth. And don't promise by anything else to back up what you say. All you need to say is a simple yes or no. Have you ever made a pinky promise like Ruth? Well, James is saying Christians shouldn't need to say pinky promise to show we're telling the truth because we should always be telling the truth anyway. See, Christians back in James's time sometimes had levels of promising and telling the truth. If they said promise on God's throne, for instance, that meant they were really serious. But if they said, I promise on the temple wall in Jerusalem, that meant they weren't serious. They could just not do what they promised and that was okay. Like at school, people might say, I promise I'll bring you lollies tomorrow. But all the time they've got their fingers crossed, so it doesn't count. Instead, let's be known for telling the truth and keeping our promises. So James says, Christians should just say what we mean and mean what we say. Keep to what we say and always tell the truth. Because this shows we love Jesus and are patiently looking for him to return. So we live relying on Jesus, speaking the truth like Jesus, and so showing everyone around us what Jesus is like. Yes, our words really are important. See you next week, everyone. Bye.